From street dogs to sled dogs, a team near Park City takes in rescues. Yeah, and right now they're looking after around 95 dogs, but it's what they do with their pack that is especially unique. In today's Eye on Utah, KUTV's Amanda Gilbert tells us about Rancho Luna Lobos. Ready? Flying down the mountain. Oh, oh. Just you. Good job, Kroner. The sled dogs. But this is that art form I'm telling you about. And nature. For Fernando Ramirez, little compares. He's been training sled dogs most of his life. Wanna go for a run? Should we go for a run? Yeah, we should go for a run, huh, baby? Eventually, his wife and kids joined in, <coughs> helping as many winter dogs as they can. <coughs> they take in rescues. But we only take the worst case scenarios. So the dogs that we know that maybe may not find homes. Every dog has a story. Going back to that movie Togo. You know, so she's actually a direct descendant of Togo. Some are even talented and fast enough. Best lead dogs I have in my kennel right now. And uh, yeah, but you have done so much for me, huh, sweetheart? She's done so much for me. They head with Fernando to the Sled Dog World Championships. And it's going to be a madhouse. Yeah. Humberto. But one of the most inspiring. So this is Humberto. He can't see. Is that we put the limits on him. Right off the bat, we said, you know what, Humberto, you're blind. It would be better if you just hung out with the St. Bernards here. But he wanted to run with his friends. And so he was barking, howling. So they gave him a chance. <laughs> he started out in the very back. And now he's a lead dog. He's a good boy. Humberto's story is a reminder. If we really want to achieve something and we really want to get there, there's no uh, limit to as what we can do. Maybe we could learn a thing or two from man's best friend. Is that approach every day as if it's an opportunity to challenge yourself. Especially Good job, kid. There we go. if we get at their level, literally. Also, this team was supposed to have already competed in world championships in France, but there's not enough snow there. Uh, they should come here. So instead, though, uh, world championships are happening in Sweden starting on February 27th. Good luck to them. Also, those dogs that don't want to race, they can kind of just help out with tours if they want. For your Eye on Utah, I'm Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News. And we are keeping an eye on 